Get him into the house. And then he started clawing at the, at the window. New at 11, a New Hampshire man talking about his terrifying run in with an angry groundhog. Yes, we did say groundhog. And that's the groundhog. Pretty creepy. Not usually considered <laughs> the scariest animal out there, but you see those teeth on that guy? New Center Fire's Mary Sedlatin is on the unusual attack tonight. Imagine finding this at your front door. It happened to Gary McGrath and his family. It started when their resident groundhog showed up this morning in the backyard. Looked out of the corner of my eye and I saw this groundhog coming right at me. And I thought it was kind of amusing. And he didn't stop. In fact, Hampton Hell, as the McGraths call him, went for Gary's leg. I pushed him away with my foot. And uh, he still turned around and came back, and I pushed him away again. He was after me. Gary quickly realized that Hell had turned to the dark side. So Gary made his getaway and darted into the garage side door. Looked out the window, and he went right around the edge of the garage and came right in the, the front. I, so he liked me, and I had to get out of there quick. Then Gary made for the house, but so did Hell, and he meant business. I beat him into the house. <laughs> And then he started clawing at the, at the window and gnawing at the siding. And I knew something was seriously wrong. That's when the McGraths decided to call animal control. But when the officer arrived, the groundhog charged him as well, chasing him right back into his own pickup. We were trapped for a while. You were, you were, you were trapped inside. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to live this down. Is it okay? <laughs> all after a side, the McGraths just want to warn their neighbors and all homeowners to be cautious. You never know when a friendly critter could wind up sick and dangerous. Animal control had to put the groundhog down. He's now being for rabies. In Hampton, New Hampshire, I'm Mary Salada, WCVB News Center 5.